Ooh, welcome back to yet another video guys, it's your boy F32Panda or Rikimoto back at it again. Today we're going to be doing an oil change and an oil filter change for the F32. It currently has about 4,000 miles on it since the last oil change and typically you have to wait till like around 5,000, at least that's what it recommended. I am kind of an OCD kind of dude when it comes to like numbers, so the car has 65,000 miles on it and the real oil change time should have been 66 but i wanted to do it when it landed on the 65 so then it'll be easier to remember for the next time so it could do 65,000, 70, 75 80 85 yada 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 so today i'm using an oil from liquid molly or liquid moly whatever you guys call it um it's a five liter container and you're going to be using all of it this is their 5w30 now, a lot of people recommend using 5W40, but I think 5W30 is better, especially in New York, when the weather conditions are pretty harsh at sometimes. Moving on, uh, I got some paper towels, same thing with the plastic bag. Then we also need an oil filter. This is the Mon filter. You also need to get a new drain plug, but with the filter, it actually comes with a spare one, which is really nice. Um, it comes with all the gaskets and everything too. So here's the drain plug. And uh, for some cars, it's metal. Uh, for the F32, at least my generation, it uses a plastic one. And I got this separately. This is a 10 millimeter Allen key socket piece to undo and tighten down the um, drain bolt. Then I have my torque wrench over here uh, that has adjustments so I can know how much to torque it down to. And then we have this thing, which is the oil filter socket piece, whatever housing uh, to grip the actual filter and pull it out. And then last but not least, the actual drain pan so yeah this is everything that you need um, i'm gonna leave it in the description below so you guys can go pick it up but the first thing we're gonna do is change out the oil filter looking into the engine bay it's pretty clean actually i do have a strut bar on top uh i don't need to remove this because it doesn't you know go over that but if you do have a different type of strut bar that goes across you will have to remove it for this process so basically a quick little overview of the engine this is the n26 uh this is where the oil filter is and this is where your new oil goes in, in this oil cap. But we're going to be doing the oil filter first. Basically, you want to put that socket over it, open it up, and get rid of it, basically, and put a new one in. It's going to be a messy process, so you want to cover everything with either paper towels or a plastic bag. Alright, so here's the old oil filter. As you can see, it's completely black. And then this, the new one, major difference. So what you want to do is actually just pull this thing out. Just like that. And you can toss out the dirty filter. Now the actual filter housing, uh, it has these gaskets on here. Uh, what you want to do is actually change them out to the new ones that comes with the kit. I'll just cut it. I think it's a little easier if I do that. Same thing with the big one. Boom. All right. Now you want to take your new gasket and you just want to wrap it around and basically follow the grooves of it all the way down. And the same thing with the small one that goes right on the tip. Just wrap it over it. And like I said, this is a really messy process. So you want to make sure you're wearing gloves or something. So now that you have that on, you want to take your new filter and you just want to just like that. Now what we could do, uh, which is recommended, is to either put a little bit of oil in here or to fill it up with oil. It doesn't really matter. So I just put in the oil filter. Uh, I torqued it down to about 18 foot pound. Okay, so I'm underneath the car right now. It's kind of hard to film this, but basically you're gonna drain your oil from this little housing down here. So there's actually a little bit of a locking plate that you turn, if I can even reach for it. Uh, might have to use like a scoot, flathead screwdriver to turn it because look at that it's all jacked up okay so i got the thing opened um as you can see that circle piece over there is so broken so yeah whoever worked on my car prior you guys don't know what the hell you're doing but yeah as you can see down here is where your drain plug is right over here it's a plastic one and you want to put your oil pan right underneath so it can catch all the oil and after that you want to get your new drain plug which already comes with a gasket and you want to torque it down to 8 newton meters. Alright, so the oil is currently draining. The reason why it's kind of slow is because the top actual oil cap is still on. 
if you are to open up the oil cap it'll flow a little quicker because you have oxygen going in but yeah i'm gonna let this thing drain completely there should be about five liters of oil and this catch pan has a 16 liter capacity so it's more than enough so we are at the last step you just want to open up your oil cap so now you want to pour in the full five liter tank of the oil you can use a funnel if you want some people just aim and do it but i don't trust my aim so here we go hopefully i don't screw this up All right, now that your oil change is complete, you wanna drive the car around a little bit just to get the oil temperature up, and then you can use the iDrive system to see the reading of it. Um, I'm just gonna start it up real quick and just see if everything even runs. So that is how you change the oil on your F30 or F32. Pretty simple process. Um, I'll leave all the part information, like the oils and filters, yada, 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 in the description below. But with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.